Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be making apple pie and pumpkin pie cinnamon rolls. You may be thinking, it's not fall. It's not even the holiday season. Well, do you only eat during the holiday season? Let's get cooking. To start, we're going to make the dough. We're going to add half a cup of warm water to this bowl and two packets of active dry yeast. Um, that's the recipe, what the recipe called for, so that's what we're going to put in, two packets. And then we're going to let that proof for five minutes. Okay, now that it's proof for five minutes, we're going to add in a half a cup of warm milk, half a cup of white sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a stick of melted butter, and two eggs. See, this is why you always crack your eggs in a separate bowl from the dish that you're making, just in case little shells get in there. All right, add those in. And we're gonna mix this up first before we add in our flour. Now we're gonna add in two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And just stir that in. This recipe, um, I found it while I was looking through. Uh, my mom found a box of recipes that my grandmother had, so she got this recipe from someone. So I don't know who that person is, but this is my first time trying this recipe, and so hopefully it turns out good. For the dough, at least. This is the recipe for the dough that she found. So at this point, you can take, we have um, two cups of flour that we set aside. We're gonna take that and add that in to this bowl until it forms a nice dough that we can knead. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit in at a time. I'm gonna start with the spoon and probably eventually change to using my hands. So in total, you want to have about four and a half to five cups of flour um, prepared for this. You may not use all of it, but um, you need some extra to add in for it to form the dough, and then some for flouring your surface, I, um, your kneading surface. So I've laid down some wax paper just for easy cleanup, um, and then we're going to flour our surface. and our hands. Gonna be looking a little ashy for a bit, but it's just flour. Pop our dough onto this board here. Gonna get sticky for a little bit, but we're gonna. Ooh. Just knead this. Here we have our beautiful ball of dough that we're going to place in this greased bowl. Then you're going to cover it, sit it in a warm place, and let it rise until it's doubled in size for about one to one and a half hours. Okay, so now that the dough is set aside to rise, we're going to make all the fillings and prepare the stuff to go inside 
of our rolls. So you're going to take um, a green apple and we're going to just use this mandolin here and make nice thin slices. Um, please be careful and don't cut when it gets this thin. I uh, see. But you're going to cut nice thin slices like this of about two um, Granny Smith green apples. Now we're going to mix together the butter and sugar mixture. Um, so this one is for the pumpkin and this one is for the apple. So each of them, each of them get two teaspoons of um, the spice. For apple we're just going to use cinnamon. And for pumpkin, we're going to use some pumpkin pie spice. Which is just um, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and ginger. Then to each of them, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of sugar. Okay, so we have our dough. It's risen. It's doubled. See? It's big now. I'm just going to flour right here. And then dump out. Oh, wait. Okay, now we can take it out. And we're going to put a little on here and now roll it. Roll it into a nice rectangle. Now that I have this, I'm just going to cut it in half for two different versions. Now we're adding on our butter and sugar to both side to both halves. Now for the pumpkin we can just add this in there and spread spread this pumpkin puree around and it's okay if it's from a can because it's not pumpkin season. So, um, I wasn't going to get any pumpkins. And now the apple, we're just gonna take our extra thin slices and lay them out. overlapping and they're thin so it should be easy to roll. It's like putting on cheese on a Subway sandwich or any sandwich. Now it's time to roll them up. Okay, let's let's hopefully get this nice and tight. Now for roll number two. Let's get it. That's why we made the apples nice and thin so that they were rolled with the dough instead of breaking. Ones I'm going to put all together in this round pan. So let's 
scoot you over, please. And then we're going to cut. The ends off. Of each of them. We'll still cook and eat those, but they'll just be the irregular ones. So we're going to use the floss method of sticking it under, crisscrossing. And there you have it. We're going to stick these all in the greased pan. We want to make sure to get them about the same size so that they cook at the same time. We're going to do the same thing with the pumpkin, except for these are going to get put on a baking tray. That's also been greased. So I'm going to let these rest and rise while I clean up this mess. Now we're going to take these and we're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 35 minutes. Now it's time to give it a taste. I have my taste here, so let's dig in. First, the pumpkin. Need a fork for this one, it's kind of sticky. That's good. If you like this video in any way, consider subscribing. No pressure. Also, you can find me on Instagram at What's Up Chef Son. And if you try this recipe, let me know how you like it. Yum yum.